Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June 2020 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Scorpio, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you are happy and safe. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you give me in the channel. As you guys have seen, I posted the picture of my silver button plaque I received from YouTube for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I read all your comments, I read your emails, your DMs. I try to get back as soon as I can, but I get such a huge amount of influx. Please be patient, and if I haven't responded, please feel free to just resend. Um, the message but guys thank you so so much for everything that you do for me i wouldn't be here without you guys so thank you if you're new here welcome i really hope that you gain some insight and clarity in regards to the situation going on in your love life during this time and if you've been subscribing to me for a while thank you so much for coming back guys and for supporting me i hope you gain that same insight and clarity as well also, Scorpio, I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand-select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with, and I hand-make all the candles that I sell in my online shop, where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents that I feel like every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to visit my online shop. You can find the link in the description box of this video. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. All right, so this was strange. Um, <laughs> when I close my eyes to get into the energies to ask my spirit guides to come forth and everything, um, I saw this rose, a pink rose specifically. Don't know if that will resonate with you off the bat, but it was blossoming and it was blooming. But the petals were in like a spiral formation. I don't know guys and again I'll go through this in my introduction of how to resonate with this reading or how to listen to it but this is there's a connection for some of you guys or an energy around you that you guys have known each other in past lives you this is not your first time of meeting ever your two souls becoming acquainted with one another I feel like this is an ongoing cycle of a repetition of someone from your past life for some of you very strongly that came through and that may be the only message from that 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 will come out for for this reading but that's a message for someone out there if the pink rose didn't resonate already whoo all right scorpio so let's go ahead and get started this is a general love reading for the sun moon rising venus mars jupiter stellium and or any other placement you see fit for the sign of scorpio this is not going to resonate with every scorpio that listens to this message Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my guides and my intuition prioritize the messages that I provide during this reading. So if this reading isn't for you, Scorpio, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Scorpio, not every message in this reading will be for you, and that's completely okay. And actually, that is expected for a general love reading. Um, you know, just only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? Um, I do have to say, Scorpio and cross watchers, that it is important to know that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped in reverse. And just for your reference, I will be reading Scorpio's energy on this side and then cross watcher or other energy on this side but again if you feel like you resonate more on this side than this side then please feel free to reverse those roles you're more than welcome to do that finally we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us so if at all during this reading i say the words masculine or feminine 
please know that I'm only referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. Also, Scorpio, you don't have to be in a relationship for this reading to resonate with you. I get that a lot, and you absolutely do not need to. You, This is just an energy I'm picking up in around you that has feelings for you romantically or has romantic intentions with you. Ooh, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. I do feel as if, first of all, this is Capricorn energy, whether you're connected to a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart. But both of you, someone in in this who is connected to you wants to make something work Scorpio they want to collaborate with you they want to be the person that you decide to work with in this connection because there is something that can be built from this there is something that can turn into long-term prosperity for the two of you I don't know if this person has like I don't there's like I'm seeing a hug where you like you lift someone up like the person standing and the other person has their legs wrapped around them um, I mean, you guys could have done that with each other, or maybe you held this person, Scorpio, and there was like kissing or a big hug. I don't know. I'm seeing that for someone, obviously not all of you, but there is an intention working in the background of someone or the two of you wanting to work on a connection or wanting to evolve this connection into something that will be fulfilling, that will be long-term, that will be prosperous. Someone loves the way you kiss. I don't know who that's for, <laughs> but they told you before that you're a great kisser. Um, and there's also like holding the back of the neck too that I'm seeing for someone out there as well. But yeah, if someone wants to work on this or someone wants a relationship where there's collaboration, where there's equal give and take, equal, you know, receive. But, um... Yeah, it's just still kind of coming to this place where Scorpio, you're finding that someone who is going to give you that love, who is going to give you that value. Because at the end of the day, you know you deserve love. And you only deserve the love of someone who is also willing to provide that intimacy, that loyalty, that devotion, that honesty, that trust. And this is what you're going after, Scorpio. And this is something that you are going to manifest without a doubt. I feel like some of you have your eyes on a specific someone, but this could just be the other way around. Some Someone may have a specific target on you, Scorpio, that they're going to go after. And with this being an archer in the picture, some of you guys could have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart, or maybe you're connected to a Sagittarius. doesn't have to be the case. But yeah, you are someone who deserves the best amount of love in the quality of love, of commitment, joy, prosperity, and abundance. But let's go ahead and get into this reading. So how you feel about this person and how they feel about you. Scorpio, you want to take things to the next level with the world. Some of you could come from different cultures, different backgrounds, different financial situations. I don't know why I'm picking up on that for some of you, but you're ready to evolve. You're ready to grow. And I do feel as if Scorpio, this is someone who you feel like could be the one for you. And I'm saying this also because of the fact that we have this card here. You already met the romantic partner that you seek. And again, whether this is someone you met in this lifetime or you met them before in another lifetime, I do feel as if you both have been coming into each other's lifetimes, um, lifetime after time to re-spark this connection. But... Really, Scorpio, you're seeing this person as someone you want to take things to the next level with, that you're ready to advance with, excel with, start a new chapter. Let's end the chapter of doubt or the chapter of, you know, only talking or only flirting because I really feel this person could be the one for me. Scorpio, some of you may feel like this person is really renowned in some way. Maybe this is someone who is well known in their community. Um, your community, maybe this person could have some level of fame. I don't know if that's for everyone, but um, mostly what I'm getting from this card for a lot of you is that, yeah, let's take things to the next level. Let's go to the next chapter because we do feel a special bond between one another. We do have, 
these feelings for one another, so why not just go for it? Why not just go to the next level? I mean, Scorpio, you have big plans. And I do feel like it is with a sp specific person that you've been waiting on. But I also want to point out that Aquarius had this in their exact position too. So I don't know if you guys have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. If you do, I would suggest taking a look at that video because there may be messages there for you guys or if you're connected to an Aquarius. How they feel about you, Scorpio, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy coming through again. Um, but that doesn't have to be the case. I feel like some of you guys are worrying if this is like, for some tarot readers, this could be like the player card. I'm not really feeling that way. I'm feeling like they have just as big amount of dreams as you do, Scorpio. But although you're more ready to surmount this, to take it to the next level, they're just thinking of all the possibilities this can go with. Um, that they can dream and fulfill with you. Like, they have a lot of fantasies about you, Scorpio. Um, you've definitely been in their dreams more than once. Um, again, like, there's something about someone's neck that they love to hold on to, grab on to, kiss. Um, bite even. I don't know why that came up, but they have a lot of plans too. But Scorpio, you want to get it more grounded. You know, I feel as if this person is still kind of just in that honeymoon stage of just, you know, s developing these feelings for you and just thinking about all the possibilities that could go with, but you're ready to just already get it going. Like, let's just stop have fantasizing about this and turn this into a reality. This could be a long distance too with the world and the Knight of Wands. You guys could live at a distance from each other. But I don't feel like that's going to interfere with the connection overall. But there may be some sort of communication issues around that um, you know, distance, especially if you guys live in different time zones for some of you. Not everyone, clearly. But let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here for how they feel about my Scorpios? Oh, you know, they also feel like you're very exciting. You're very passionate. They have a lot of fun around you. And you're someone that, you know, they experience new things with. And that you bring this, like, excitement in their lives. I don't know who that's for, but definitely for someone here. Okay, so we have Three of Cups. Yeah, that's that fun energy. That's that, um you know, energy where you guys always have a good time no matter what with one another. That you like to spend time together when you can and when you do, it's a blast. I do have to say and gotta be honest though, there may be someone who feels Scorpio that you may have other options too. Um, which I don't feel like that's the way with you and I do feel like there for someone out there there's a bit of trust issues going on. And I do feel like because maybe they were involved in a third party situation before, that is why it's kind of interfering here. But that's just an illusion for someone. No, it's not, I'm not feeling that way. I would let you guys know if that was the case. I'm seeing like Egyptian hieroglyphics too. I don't know if that resonates with you, like the Ankh or the Eye of Horus. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing Egyptian glyphs. And maybe this is a connection that has been going on since ancient times for some of you. Past lives from thousands of years ago. For some, not all. Let's get another card to get more specific. Why is the Knight of Wands here for my Scorpios? Why is the Knight of Wands here for my Scorpios? go the fool yeah so Aries energy Aquarius energy coming around again um yeah so for a lot of you I feel like as if 
this you feel like this person is just not taking this as seriously as you want it to take it yet like they're still having fun they still like they do like you scorpio but it's like a matter of when are you finally going to commit or when are you finally going to give us a chance to get this going off the ground because someone does want this beginning with you but they're still holding on because what if this isn't the right decision or what if i'm not ready yet or what if we're taking things too fast it's kind of what i'm feeling from this scorpio but also I'm getting with this too, like there's, when you guys met, like there was a familiarity that you guys shared with one another. Like you don't know how or why, but you feel like you've already known this person before or that there's some sort of recognition of shared, I don't know, like you guys may have gone through the same things in your past. Like there's something that is very uncanny about your guys' past stories or that you feel like you guys have a lot of the same similarities and interests as one another. Like, you've known this person before. They recognize that too, Scorpio. But they're still a bit apprehensive about fully making this um, into a manifestation, into the physical form of, like, being fully committed because there's still that apprehension about, for some of you, if you, they're the only ones in your life, but others of you, like, what is it going to mean once they really make this solid and make this, you know, a committed relationship or a committed connection. What you think about this connection and what they think about this connection. So let's start with you, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles energy, Capricorn energy. Some of you guys could have Capricorn in your chart. It could also be Taurus or Virgo, where you could be connected to one of those signs. Scorpio, you do want to give your all to this connection, but you're not going to give it until you see that there's value. You do want to show this person that you do have feelings for them, that you do care for them, and that you want something to grow and surmount to this, but you need to see that from them first before you show that side of you, before you feel ready to be vulnerable and open up. I mean, Scorpio, you want commitment. You want loyalty. You want dependability. And once they show you that, you'll be willing to give that all to them. But, you know, they have to show you that they want the same. I'm seeing like a desk. I don't know if this is someone from your work. Maybe you guys are co-workers. Maybe you met at work or working on a project together in some way. Others of you, maybe you've had a sexual encounter on a desk. I don't know. I am just seeing a desk though, for some. Maybe you have a desk in your bedroom. But yeah, you just want and think that you're only going to provide when you see that there's something to provide to or for. You're not gonna be one-sided. This is not gonna be a one-sided connection. But again, I also see Scorpio that you have plans for this. You really do wanna manifest this into something long-term, something valuable something prosperous that you deserve. You know you deserve, you know you're worth. There's no question there. You know that you want something that is just as loyal and dependable as you are. Some of you guys like may wear your hair in a high bun, or maybe they do quite frequently, or put your hair up quite frequently. What they think is two of pentacles, Capricorn energy, strong Capricorn energy in this reading, but this is still that, I don't know, Scorpio, I don't know why they're feeling this way in this connection of doubt or uncertainty, or that they don't know, and I don't know why, maybe this conversation hasn't been had between the two of you, but they almost feel like you're not ready for this, Scorpio, or that there's still some possibility of um, inflexibility or instability that they're still trying to figure out. I gotta say, I feel like some of you are connecting to a Leo. So if you're if you are connected to a Leo or if you have Leo in your chart, watch the Leo reading. But let's go ahead and see why there's this Two of Pentacles energy. Why is there this Two of Pentacles energy and what they think about Scorpio? Okay, there we go. Fell on my foot. Maybe there's something with your feet they like. Ooh, the death card, the card of Scorpio. Some of you could be connected to another Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart. 
but because this is your energy or the card associated with your energy Scorpio like I feel as if you are someone that they do think about or that they do feel like there is potential of growing this relationship with but I also feel with the death card it's like what is something that has to be released that they're unwilling to let go of? Is that their own freedom? Is that their own... Um, I feel like this person is just very in the clouds with how they live life. Like you may feel like they're kind of aloof or that they're not really realistic. And so something kind of has to end within their own selves about, you know, kind of being serious about this serious about how they feel about you and wanting to do something about it and that uncertainty has to end and they know it does if they want to seize the opportunity where it is now let's get another card also this person may like to wear black a lot or black quite frequently they may have a black car Ooh, with the world and the six of swords yeah, I feel like they're just afraid of the change and afraid of the unknown. They know that there's a huge possibility of, you know, this ascension of this growth of this celebration with you, um, Vir uh, Scorpio, excuse me, I almost said Virgo. Um, but with Six of Swords here, the change may be difficult, you know, it may make them change their mindset or it may have to change things in their own reality in order to get the situation to come to fruition with you, Scorpio, that they're just afraid of taking the first step towards. But others of you, yeah, this whole distance thing, especially if those of you who are long distance where that resonated with you, like that's the one thing that's keeping them really grounded in knowing that it's worth taking that first step because there should, like I feel like there's been discussions about moving or moving closer to one another that is like still a problem here for someone. But we do have King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And let me just say, now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles coming through soulmate connection. Both of you could have earth in your chart somewhere, but more importantly, both of you want something long-term, something stable. It's just one person needs to take that first step. I feel like you're already ready, Scorpio, but this person is still afraid of the unknown. I do feel like there's an element of the chaser and the runner here between the two of you. And Scorpio, I feel like you've been chasing with this for a bit. While someone is starting to slow their pace and running away, but still afraid in some sort of form. But I feel like you guys are meant to be. This is the one for you. So what you guys want from this connection um, Scorpio, Five of Swords, and with them, the Eight of Swords. So some of you guys could both leave, definitely have air in your chart, specifically Aquarius or Gemini. But let's start with you, Scorpio. Um, I think you just want this, like, indecision, this back and forth, this tit for tat to end. You know, just end the BS, right? Like, I feel as if you just really want this person to take things more seriously and to t take this connection more seriously and to let their guard down and to be vulnerable and to be open to this connection that you've been waiting for this person to do. Scorpio, I feel like you feel like you're at a disadvantage because you've been so open with them. You've communicated your feelings to them and yet they're still not communicating or opening up in the way you've been waiting for them to do and wanting for them to do because you feel there's so much more you feel like there's so much more to reveal and uncover that they're still keeping back from and it's kind of frustrating you definitely frustrating you i kind of want to clarify this card five of swords Oop, there we go Queen of Wands, because yeah, you're dedicated, you're committed, you're someone that has a lot of passion in regards to this, and you only put your time and your energy in things that spark your interest, that pique your desire, and this person does do that all for you, but right now you feel like you're the only one that's been trying to get this off the ground, trying to get this moving forward. Some of you could have Leo in your chart, or Aries, or Sagittarius in your chart, a lot of fire. But yeah, you just want to finally take these plans 
seriously and move this forward. Not just have this be a sexual connection or something to, because you know it's way deeper than that, and they do too. But what they want from this connection, Scorpio, is Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Some of you could be connected to a Gemini. This is a popular card. This has been coming out for a lot of the signs, but yeah, it's that place of stagnancy. It's that place of self-sabotage, of feeling stuck, feeling there's still a doubt in this. And I feel like they do want to come out of this, but they're having a hard time. And I don't know if it's because communication hasn't been so great between the two of you. Like, I feel like you're talking, but the conversation that needs to be had hasn't been had. And I do feel, again, there's just fear around something going on here whether there is the distance or whether this is again i don't know why they someone feels out there that you may have other options um but it's kind of understanding that until you take the first step nothing's going to go anywhere until you are ready to open up you're still going to stay stuck and they're still trying to figure this out but scorpio you already have this all figured out how much longer do you have to wait for this person to figure things out, to get out of their own head? Because again, I just feel like there's a lot of change that has to be done, whether that is through their own personality or through what they have been lacking to give in this connection with you, Scorpio. But I also feel like there could be something that they have to move or they have to physically change in order for this to work for others of you. But I feel like they need to snap out of it. Because there are feelings here. They do think about you. They do have feelings towards you. But it's just they're scared to take that first step towards a commitment. Because maybe before they've been in a commitment where they felt really oppressed. They felt really controlled. They felt really, you know, there may have, they may have dealt with a strong karmic energy that just didn't let them be who they are. But that's not what you're planning on doing, Scorpio. You're happy with who they are. I just feel like a lot needs to be said between the two of you. A lot of communication about where you guys see this going and I do feel like it will happen in June but we're gonna go ahead and take this to the extended reading Scorpio where I'm gonna pull a card for the likely outcome of this connection between the two of you and any advice where I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards but before we go Scorpio I will pull a romance angels card and I'm gonna ask spirit to further clarify what this connection is or how they feel about you anything that could add or deny Ooh, chemistry yeah so there's a strong chemistry between the two of you there's that bond there's that link that neither of you have really been able to understand or put your finger on but you know exists that you know is there but with the free yourself i think this is on their end or whoever is resonating with this end that it's like free yourself from you know these limiting thoughts these limiting beliefs of for some of them, it's like how a relationship is going to be stifling. Or just free yourself from this fear of everything that could maybe go wrong with Scorpio that you're just envisioning in your head, but it's nothing that's true. Or just the fear of change for someone out there. All right, Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, go ahead and open up the description box where you'll find the link to Vimeo, and it'll take you there where we're going to see the likely outcome. If this is where we depart, Scorpio, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care.